Welcome to The Late Show, everybody. I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. You know, the Constitution... <laughs> Folks, the Constitution gives the accused the right to remain silent. And clearly, Donald Trump has never read the Constitution... <laughs> ...because he will not shut the old hamburger hole. <laughs> and everything he has said for the last 48 hours just makes him guiltier. We'll talk all about it in tonight's episode of... Chopper Talk. <laughs> Yesterday... <laughs> Yesterday, uh, the president was asked a simple question. On that phone call, what was he asking the Ukrainian president to do to the Bidens? Well, he wisely dodged it. Today, he took that ball straight in the face. <laughs> what exactly did you hope Zelensky would do about the Bidens after your phone call? Well, I would think that if they were honest about it, they'd start a major investigation into the Bidens. It's a very simple answer. Uh, they should investigate the Bidens. President Zelensky, if it were me, I would recommend that they start an investigation into the Bidens. What are you doing? <laughs> that is literally what they're impeaching you for. <laughs> Don't say that out loud. That's like if Jeffrey Dahmer showed up in court wearing an apron that said, kiss the cook. <laughs> I don't know. I think, I think this is what's happening here. Trump knows if something's bad, you don't admit it in public. So, if he admits it in public, it must not be bad. <laughs> He's trying to normalize it. It's like a husband saying, honey, I know you think it's wrong for me to have sex with our neighbor. But if it were, why would I be doing it in the middle of your book club? <laughs> okay, thank. That reminds me. Melissa, you want another glass of Chardonnay? <laughs> Two Chardonnays. Two shards. Right down. Right down. <laughs> She's nice. You'd like her. <laughs> but he's the president. I mean, he is the leader of the free world. He's not just going to stand out there and ask a foreign country to investigate his political rival. He's going to ask two foreign countries. China should start an investigation into the Bidens. Because what happened in China is just about as bad as what happened with, uh, with Ukraine. Just when you think Trump can't dig himself a deeper hole, he literally reaches China. <laughs> Trump made these comments. Sure. Just wait, just wait. Trump made these comments on his way to Florida to visit something called the Villages, which is the largest retirement community in the country. I thought that was the U.S. Senate. But whoa, whoa. Whoa. it's not. The population of the Villages is perfect for Trump. The median age is nearly 71. Or as Trump calls them, the youth vote. And they love him down there. In fact, Trump was treated to a golf cart parade. <laughs> a golf... The only thing whiter than a golf cart parade <laughs> would be a mayonnaise water slide. <laughs> Today... We... Ah. We are Everybody second line. Uh, today's visit was a fun distraction for Trump because the Villages has it all. Swimming pools, golf courses, themed town squares. In fact, the complex is sometimes likened to an adult Disney World. And they mean adult because the community is regarded as ground zero for geriatrics who are seriously getting it on. <laughs> In fact, a local gynecologist reported that she has treated more cases of herpes and human papillomavirus at the villages than she did when she worked in Miami. In Miami. Bienvenido wow. a Miami. Yes. In Miami, you know. where at the nice hotels you can order chlamydia from room service. <laughs> $28. It's free on the beach. Oh. Oh. <laughs> These frisky seniors are even a law enforcement problem. As one local police officer put it, you see two 70 year olds with canes fighting over a woman, you think, oh, geez. 
but she also thinks, God, I hope that's his cane. <laughs> in addition... <laughs> oh, whoa. Oh. Oh, up there. In addition to his golf cart parade, the president also held a rally, and he began by playing up to the crowd. I'm thrilled to be here, one of the most famous and thriving communities anywhere in Florida and really anywhere in the world, as far as I'm concerned, the villages. In fact, I was thinking about moving to the villages, but I just couldn't leave Mar-a-Lago. I couldn't leave it. I got stuck at Mar-a-Lago. But then a waiter pried me out from between the buffet counters, and I was free. <laughs> just, uh... They gave me a radio collar and let me go. Trump was there to talk about Medicare, and he made a surprising admission. Millions of seniors are enjoying better, healthier, and more prosperous retirements. I should be retiring with you. Yes, you should. Yes. Yes, you should. And Nancy Pelosi's working on it. <laughs> then, Trump rallied these seniors with a solemn promise. Today, standing in solidarity with our nation's seniors, I declare once again that America will never be a socialist country. Will never be. You tell him, Mr. President, I won't let those socialists take away my Social Security or my government-run Medicare. I really need it. I got a scorching case of the clap. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> this, by the way, is my old man character. <laughs> Trump also tried to boast about his commitment to letting people keep their own doctor. Under this administration, we believe that every American family has a right of choice. <laughs> yes, the right of choice <laughs> must be guaranteed to every citizen of the United States. <laughs> choice. <laughs> Recall. Then, <laughs> then, the conspiracy theorist in chief floated a new crazy balloon linking his impeachment with drug manufacturers. We're lowering the cost of prescription drugs, taking on the pharmaceutical companies. I wouldn't be surprised uh, if the hoax didn't come a little bit from some of the people that we're taking on. They're very powerful. Some of the nonsense that we all have to go through, but that I go through, wouldn't be surprised if it was from these, some of these industries like pharmaceuticals. Hey, don't go after the pharmaceutical industry. Antidepressants are the only thing getting me through your administration. 